Thick thighs save lives. Skies out, thighs out. When you think of video game characters with melon crushing thighs, car lifting quads, who do you think of? If you answered anyone but the OG Street Fighter Chun-Li, I'm sorry, you wrong. Chun-Li is an expert martial artist and Interpol officer who seeks revenge for the death of her father at the hands of THE M. Bison. Due to her thick, and that's thick with two C's, thighs, the majority of her attacks involve kicks. Imagine that. She is the main female protagonist of the Street Fighter series, originally debuting in Street Fighter 2, the greatest of all the Street Fighter games, originally appearing in a blue dress called a Kipau. Her gigantically luscious thighs first showed up in the most glorious 1991 pixel stockings that Capcom could offer, and has since sparked a treasure trove of fan art, figurines, and cosplay. Unfortunately, it's impossible for a normal person to get earth-shattering thighs like Chun-Li in real life. Right? Welcome back, Internet. I'm Dr. Physical Therapy Dane Err, and today we're going to be talking about every current 30 to 40 year old male's first crush. No, I'm not talking about Kimberly the Pink Ranger. I'm talking about Chun, girl of my dreams, Lee, and her bison kicking thighs, and what you can do to get them. Let's break it down. Before we get started, head down to the subscribe button, because right now, I'm just a man wasting his degree. But with enough subscribers, I'm a man wasting his degree with followers. So, as we mentioned earlier, Chun-Li is a main character in the Street Fighter franchise. Rated number 6 on the best known gaming fighters of all time, Chun-Li can be found not only in games, but in movies, anime, and cosplay events around the world. So some good news there. As a character, her backstory is pretty classic Street Fighter. She's been practicing martial arts since the age of 5 after seeing her first Bruce Lee movie. Her father trained her, using mostly kicks as he too was said to have legendary legs. During her youth, her father went missing and she became a detective at 18 in hopes of finding him. She later followed in his footsteps and joined Interpol. Classic story. She's the fastest character in the original series, with some of her most iconic moves being the sense uh, something, the high uh, cat ran across the keyboard, the Kiko Ken, and of course, the spinning bird kick. In addition to having strong legs to perform these attacks, Chun-Li also has large thigh mass, which is actually an important distinction. A marathon runner also has undeniably strong legs, but they lack the mass of a sprinter or a power lifter, and the difference is in the way you train. So, how does a normal human being like you or I unlock the god-tier thighs necessary to perform such moves? But, more importantly, how do we get the mass? Well, first thing to recognize is how muscles grow. Muscle growth, or muscle hypertrophy, occurs when an individual constantly places higher and higher levels of resistance or weight on the muscle. The muscle fibers tear on a microscopic level. This sounds bad, but it's actually a good thing. The body repairs these tiny, tiny damaged fibers by fusing them together to form new muscle protein strands known as myofibrils. These new strands increase in thickness and number, which results in an increase in strength to meet the demands of the weight you are trying to lift. But, more importantly in this scenario, result in an increase in muscle mass, or size. Basically, you lift weight that is heavier than what your muscles are used to, you get small tears that the body then repairs, and those repairs make the muscles bigger and stronger. With that knowledge, it's easy to see what kind of exercises are needed to get thunder thighs heavy weight work. Any Instagram fit girl telling you donkey kicks, air squats, or pink weight lunges are going to get you massive thighs and a traffic stopping booty is just trying to sell you some fit tea and a worthless home exercise program. Now, to find out what exercises we need to do, we first need to look at what muscles make up the thigh. The front of the thigh includes three main muscles, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and the vastus medialis and two lesser but still pretty big on Chun-Li muscles, the tensor fasciolata and the sartorius. The back of the leg includes the biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus muscles, 
And of course, we can't forget the glutes, but no one really ever forgets the glutes. You also have some muscles on the inside of the thigh called adductors that just basically cause your jeans to rub together and get holes in them if they become too large. No lie, these are my favorite pair of jeans. Okay, so exercises. The front of the thigh and the glutes are targeted by front squats. Perform this exercise with the bar in the front rack position. Bar is resting on the chest and shoulders with elbows high in front. Keep feet flat on the floor. Squat until hips are below knees. Focus on keeping your chest upright and knees in line with toes. The back of the thigh can be targeted in addition to the front and glutes with back squats. Begin with the bar resting on the upper back. Feet shoulder width apart, hands outside of the shoulders. Keep feet flat on the floor and squat until the hips are below the knees. Focus on keeping your chest upright and knees in line with toes. In addition to back squats, you can target the back of the thigh with good mornings. Bar begins on the upper back, hands outside of the shoulders. Flex knees slightly. Hips push back and chest descends down as far as possible while maintaining a lumbar curve. AKA, if your back starts to round, you've gone too far. The inner thigh can be targeted with ball squeeze goblet squats. Begin with a medicine ball between the knees. Adjust foot width so knees are in line with toes while squatting. Hold kettlebell against chest and squat while squeezing the medicine ball with knees. The outer thigh can be targeted with banded goblet squats. Begin with a resistance band around the outside of the thigh. Adjust foot width so knees are in line with toes while squatting. Perform a squat while pressing out against the band. Remember, with all these exercises, you want to be doing high weights for low reps. A good place to start would be each exercise for three sets of five reps for the bar work and three to four sets of six to eight reps for the non-bar work and the good mornings. Because training programs are so complex, we'll solely be dedicating a future episode to just that. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you too can one day ruin your favorite pair of jeans with massive earth shattering thighs. If you have any suggestions on characters you would like to see in the future, leave a comment in the section below and stay tuned for our next video on the ideal Assassin's Creed body type and how you too can scale a massive building like an assassin. Much love. Bye.